Here are millions of customers for what you have to sell. Customers with $15 billion to spend. Someone once said to me that the people in general cannot bear very much reality. He meant by this that they prefer fantasy to a truthful recreation of their experience. The people have quite enough reality to bear by simply getting through their lives, raising their children, dealing with the eternal conundrums of birth, taxes, and death. Negroes are continuously uh, making progress here in this country. The progress in many areas is not as fast as it should be, but they are making progress, and we will continue to make progress. There's no reason that uh, in the, uh, uh, the near or in the foreseeable future that a Negro could also be president of the United States. I remember, for example, when the ex-attorney general, Mr. Robert Kennedy, said that it was conceivable that in 40 years in America, we might have a Negro president. And that sounded like a very emancipated statement, I suppose, to white people. They were not in Harlem when this statement was first heard and did not hear and possibly will never hear the laughter and the bitterness and the scorn with which the statement was greeted. From the point of view of the man in the Harlem barbershop, Bobby Kennedy only got here yesterday. And now he's already on his way to the presidency. We've been here for 400 years, and now he tells us that maybe in 40 years, if you're good, we may let you become president. It was a dream, just a dream I had on my mind. It was a dream, just a dream I had on my mind. And when I woke up, baby, not a thing could I find. 